about a year ago I took on the challenge of offering a basic college photography course that would be taught solely with the team-based learning pedagogy. And I have to say, it's been a pretty exciting year. You're about to get down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to have Yeah, you can sign up. Yeah! just knock us off like the next time? Oh, we are. See ya. Don't you say time? One man team over there. On the first day of class, I introduced students to the basic teaching and learning process of team-based learning, and I explained to students how this course would be very different from any other courses they had enrolled in. I didn't want to just tell students about how their learning process would be different with this course. I wanted them to experience it for themselves. So I took them through the stages of the process. I started by using playing cards to create randomly generated teams. And I had a fairly small class of about 12 students. So my goal was to make three teams of four students each. Everybody's gonna pick a card. And then if you are an ace, you're gonna be with aces, two deuces are gonna be with deuces, and threes are gonna be with threes, okay? Once teams were formed, They'd sit together in their groups and read over the syllabus as part of what we would call the readiness assurance process. I explained that during a normal class, they'd be assigned readings and videos to watch outside of class in order to be prepared for the activities that would happen in the following class. To encourage students to do their out-of-class assignments, I'd give a quiz at the beginning of the following class. So each student would take a 10 multiple choice question quiz called the Individual Readiness Assurance Test, or what we would call an IRAD. And then they'd take the same test in their teams. And this is what we would call the Team Readiness Assurance Test, or TRAD. But for the practice session we would be doing on the first day, we'd use the syllabus as our assigned material. Students had 15 minutes to read over the syllabus and note the most important points in preparation for the sample individual readiness assurance test. I use if at cards, which allow students to scratch off their answer choices to see if their choices were correct. The thing I really like about the cards is that they allow students to get immediate feedback on their choices. In other words, they can see exactly what the correct answer for the question was. Then we ran through a sample application activity, which is an activity where students get to apply the knowledge they acquired. We got a number four, a number five. Oh, excellent! All right. All right, so number four. How did you guys justify your decision? And this is a part of team-based learning that is very rich in opportunities for critical thinking. After the activity, the whole class meets as a group to go over any questions or concerns students might have with how the class was going to work or even uh, concerns they might have about working in groups. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And then um, people not pulling their own weight, like putting it on one person and then not doing it. And I have to say that students seemed completely willing to give this new experience a try. Put put eggs. Eggs. And at the same time, I'm reading these. I didn't know this. I put I don't remember. I put D. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I did not know that one. D, everyone. Sure, Lord. See how I asked everyone's opinion? You can see that. Yeah. Over time, students came to understand that my role as their professor was very different from the, their professors in other courses. In other words, I didn't stand in front of the class and lecture. I didn't deliver all the information that I was expecting them to know. But instead, I gave them the autonomy and responsibility for managing the content that I provided to them outside of class. Over the course of the semester, Students bonded with each other in their teams 
and the process of repeatedly going through the team-based learning principles eventually became part of the expected process of learning in their photography course. And together, we became a community of team-based learning practitioners. It was hard work, but it was well worth the investment. Team-based learning increased the academic rigor of my course, and it also raised my expectations for my students. But the thing that made this course so successful, even though my expectations were high, was that team-based learning provided all the tools that students needed to succeed.